third year comes up it's very recent i get um you know as we're driving up there man um you know it's raining now it's raining 10 times harder than the last time it was it is it's, it's crazy man so we get to the place we get to where we, we're going to stay everything is cool in the place but this following day we go and I forget some of my stuff. I forget my gloves and I forget my, uh, uh, my hats and my goggles. Man, and you need that stuff. If you're going to go snowboarding, bring your own equipment. It's going to be cheaper. It's going to be cheaper. Um, but so I get there, man, and, these, and this negative stuff start happening to me. And it's the weirdest stuff, man. Um, I left my gloves. I left my hats and stuff. We had to, like, I'm like, oh, my gosh, man. I don't have any of my stuff, and I need it. Stuff is kind of expensive. It's not the fact I can't pay for it. It's just the fact that it's it's not a price that I, I want to pay for. So I'm like, man. I'm like, man, what am I going to do? So then after that happened, when we go back to the car, I'm like, man, I ain't going to even be able to snowboard, man. It's my birthday week. I'm not going to be able to snowboard. Kind of upset about it. Get to the car and I get stuck in the snow. I get stuck in the snow and I'm like, oh man, I'm sitting here like, man, this sucks. You know what I'm saying, man? Now I'm stuck in the snow too. Stuck in the snow, man. I ain't got my stuff. Stuck in the snow, trying to figure out what I need to do. I already left late. I already left late. You know what I'm saying? The place ain't open that long, and I already left late. So I'm like, man, I'm kind of upset. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm getting, I'm, I'm, I'm upset about this. Then, so we, we figure out these things, and it's great that you have spirit guides that that guide you. You know what I'm saying? Listen to the that, that intuition. So as we leave, and we, I finally get a, get stuck out snow. Somebody helps us. Good. Get out the snow. Drive back down the road where we're gonna go see a gas station now i was about to go home and just call it one but I, but i heard this voice say man stop right here so i stopped over there i contemplated a little bit stopped over there bam went in there grabbed the gloves you know what i'm saying so i went in the store and they had all the equipment that i needed at a very cheaper price i mean cheaper than one pair of those gloves and i'm like yo like okay we got it i'm going back so we go back right <laughs> so it's already halfway through the day and now they're serving lunch at the particular place go there and as I'm going up there, you know, we're going to get some food and stuff. I schedule, you know, the, whatever, the, um, the trainings or whatever. So we go upstairs, um, and uh, the person I'm with buys some cocoa. They buy some cocoa. Well, I put it on the tray. You know, I, I keep it on the tray. And as I'm walking outside, the cocoa falls all over me, man. All over my clothes, man. And... And it was so crazy. And, and, and with me, I, I started to realize that a lot of the time, man, when you have a lot of negative situations occurring in your life, something positive is right around the corner. And for me, that's how things work. <laughs> now, what happened was, right at that moment when that stuff fell all over me, right at that moment, I stopped, I, I observed the space that I was in, and I said, you know what, I'm going to have a good day. It's going to be a good day. It's going to be a good day. That quickly, man. And what eventually ended up happening is, man, I started snowboarding. Um, I took the little classes, got done, and man, I was snowboarding without falling. I fell, you know what I'm saying? I fell probably one time than what I did fall naturally. And I was so excited. And I was like, man, all these negative events is happening in my life at this particular moment. But I'm having a positive outcome. And I'm so freaking excited, man. I'm so freaking excited. And I'm like, man, I ain't falling. I'm not doing, you know what I'm saying? I'm so happy um, because I realized, man, I changed the energy that was around me and I changed the experiences that I was having. Now, it, it, was, it was incredible to me, like, to know that, man, I did what I, exactly what I came here to do, even through the, my personal adversities of dealing with the situations that occurred. And, man, I was just so, ex I was so excited because, man, when you're having a bad issue uh, like that, man, sometimes you just want to call it quits. And I was willing to call it a quits, but um, I guess it wasn't for me to quit. It was for me to see something that, you know, if we look at situations in our own life and, and negative situations, I mean, I know some people have situations that's bigger than this. Um, um, if, but if you look at it in, in the way that makes sense to you, like, Start at, at, uh, observing things. Observing when negative things are happening to you. Look for, you know what I'm saying, know that other things happen. You know what I mean? Things can't go downhill all the time. Things can't go down all the time. You know what I'm saying? Things can't go uphill all the time. Look at what's going on and look at how things are transpiring because it'll give you insight on what's going to happen. That's how you start being able to see 
the future and patterns within your own personal life and dealing with other people's experiences, man, always pay attention, always stay focused on these things. I knew when that happened, I've had previous experiences similar to that, that um, created something very beneficial for me and to, uh, you know what I'm saying, at my behalf. And I'm like, yo, like, I know it now. You know, I'm, I know that if things are going not in, in a favorable direction for me at that particular uh, present moment, that positivity may be coming around uh, another corner. Man, and I, I've received so many different things. I've received, I was off that same logic and same understanding. I received so much, um, and and man, and that's what I want to say, man. My, my, you know, that's what I want to say about exper- you know, experiences, negative experiences, positive experiences, going snowboarding, stepping out of your comfort zone. You you, you got to do these things. These things are going to be beneficial to you in the long run. And and if you've never been out of any place, man, you have to, you have to leave your area. You have to leave your area because you never know what happens. That trip opened up other doors for me that I thought I would never go, never go. I'm not saying that I was perfect when I went to those particular areas, but I never saw myself leaving out of my mind state that I was in. So, I mean, that's kind of um, some insight, man, on, on, on some trips that I went on. And, it, you know, it was, it, it was really fun. It was really interesting.